Welcome back to the 97070 Show. I'm Emmy. I'm Sam. And this week, our student life segment with Belle and Hallie is about Pink Week. Hi guys, welcome back to the student life segment on the 97070 Show. I'm Bella. I'm Hallie. Let's get started to this week's video. I'm here with Cole Terry and Cameron A. Strike. Guys, what's your favorite game day tradition? Every Monday we go to Westland High School and we do a co-ed night out, which is super fun. So we all dress up in a certain theme. Like one time we did onesies and the other time we did neon colors. And then we scrimmage against another team. And not only is it fun, but it's super competitive. So, yeah. Wow, that actually seems so much fun. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Sydney Carscadden. Sydney, what's your favorite game day tradition? My favorite tradition is when we meet in the team room during home games and go through team goals and individual goals. But I also love doing game day gifts, which are when we pair up two teammates and they get usually candy and then write little inspirational or motivational quotes and pass them out before the game. Perfect, that seems so fun. Hey guys, I'm here with Noah Oaks. Noah, what's your favorite game day tradition? It's not really a game day tradition, but Every year we have a Thursday game, and on that following Friday, after our morning breakfast, the whole team goes bowling, and it's a big competition, and it's always really competitive. Wow, I'm excited to see that this week. Wow, thank you, Bella and Holly, for that awesome interview. We're looking forward to seeing more of your interviews. Now let's take a look at the week in review. Tell me, Emmy, what, about, what happened in soccer? Um, our boys soccer team lost to Forest Grove 2-3 to and our girls soccer also lost 1-3 to against Sherwood. But how about our volleyball team? Our volleyball team did so good last week as they won three sets to nine versus Milwaukee and Scapoose. Yeah, our football team also really had a good game down at Forest Grove. They won 47-6. to What happened in boys soccer this week? Boys soccer this week won 4-0 versus Capoose, and girls soccer won 3-2 versus Capoose. Wow. Our cross country team also ran in the Harrier Classic, and Sam Preece got second, and the boys got fifth place for team scoring, while the girls got third. And volleyball had a packed crowd versus LaSalle, which they won three sets to none. Mm -hmm. um, our boys football team plays Friday versus Capoose, and it's also our senior night. And who is our player of the week this week? Our player of the week this week is Clarissa Klein because she had an excellent game versus LaSalle. And her serves were uh, very good and she got multiple points off of them. Mm -hmm. And now over to Preston Whitlock with an interview with Connor Green. Thank you, Sam. What's going on, guys? We're here today with Connor Green. What's going on today, Connor? Uh, not much, Preston. How about you? Uh, I'm doing great. So you actually went to Hawaii for a week and a half. How did it feel being able to go to Hawaii? It was good. You know, we didn't pay for anything, so it was just a good time, you know, with the family. Yeah. So um, can you explain a little bit of why you actually didn't have to pay for any of that and what you went through to do that? Yeah, last year um, I beat Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, so I did four rounds of chemo. So Make-A-Wish flew out my whole family and we went to Hawaii for a week, so that was fun, yeah. No, oh, yeah, that's super interesting. That's, uh, that's great to hear that you beat cancer. Um, yeah. Can you tell us just a little bit about like your fight and like how hard it was and just fighting through it and then how good it felt at the end and that you finally beat it? Yeah, no, I got really blessed. Like I didn't throw up one time during chemo and usually people are like super nauseous and sick. So like uh, I was really blessed with that and I took it pretty well. But then it was obviously a super hard time in my life, you know, probably the hardest thing I'll ever go through, even though I'm 15. Yeah. So it just feels really good to get over that, you know, be back at school with all my friends. So, yeah, it's good. No, yeah, that's great to hear. I'm glad you enjoyed Hawaii. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, and stay healthy and have a good rest of your school year. You. Yeah, back to you, Sam. What an inspiring story. <laughs> um, we also really want to mention our theater program. They went uh, to Wilson High School over the weekend for a theater competition. And there's an article online about it by Sam Katz. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.